Uh, first the tower, now the factory. It feels like this Battle Frontier is trying to get to me after being gone from the Battle Frontier years and years since Platinum. Please let that not be the case. Hey there guys, my name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. I almost said Pokemon Platinum, but then I realized, wait a second, uh, no, wrong thing. <laughs> Last time, we had some fun at the Battle Factory, minus one time in which one fatal move equaled massive, massive loss, and I had to reset the whole thing, so, but it didn't matter because afterwards we were able to completely annihilate the Battle Factory, which I'm pretty content with. So in this episode, we're gonna go into the Battle Arcade. No, we're not playing Pac-Man with Pokemon, or Donkey Kong, or any of those. That, that's just the name of it. Don't think, don't think there's any actual other video games. But here in the Battle Arcade, it's similar to the Battle Tower in which you choose your own Pokemon. However, there's also a little bit of random gimmicks within this. I wouldn't explain this, but I feel if I were to explain everything, it would not make as much sense as me showing it off. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna jump straight into the Battle Arcade. Uh, and last time we did Afterburner, Oberon, um, and Reynolds. This time around, I think, let's see. I think Fractal will be a good lead. I hope so. Um, I wanna say Sephiroth? I guess that's Screech. I wanna say, um... I, I don't know. Definitely Reynolds, though. Reynolds kind of pulled up the last time, so Reynolds will probably be the MVP, and we'll see if Sephiroth actually pulls through for this one. I don't think it will, but we might as well give it a shot and see. So you can see how crazy things can get in the Battle Arcade. If you thought the Battle Factory or the Battle Tower is going to be crazy, well, that's just because of the basics. This is where the good gimmicks of Fortune and Battle Frontier come into play. And my gosh, it is so beautiful because of it. So, we enter this little, little grip room right here. And into a hallway filled with lights and a nice little steamy right here. Welcome to the Battle Arcade! First, I need to hold on to any items. They remove the items from any of your Pokemon. You cannot use your old items. That is one of the penalties and one of the prices you pay. Without further ado, let's activate the game board! So, this is how it works. You have this button, and you see these things right here. It will determine what happens. So right now, we can have our own Pokemon burnt, which would not be good. We can have the opponents burnt. We can have it do it nothing, or we can get, I, I don't know what that is. I think it's like a boost in something. None of it looks good on my turns right now, but if anything, I would want it to be, oh dear gosh. Mmm. Yeah, this. That was rape to begin with. Oh boy. Well, at least it wasn't burn for granted. If it was burn, most of my Pokemon would not have been able to do anything. But it's unfortunate that the poison was on my side. I mean, again, it doesn't matter because we're starting up with really weak Pokemon again. Didn't think I would miss that, but honestly, after doing like two level 100 Pokemon things. I kind of miss not only having my own team, but also having, like, AI not do well against my own Pokemon instead of AI doing stupid things. I mean, don't get me wrong, again, I love the Battle Factory, it's one of my favorites, but, like, the AI in that one, it's just dumb. I'm sorry. Unless the goodness is this isn't badly poison, it's just poison. But even still, I'd rather would not have had that in any way or shape or form. Uh, let me just waterfall. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling fampy right now. I'm not really feeling fampy. Also, I know the button thing, I think it does slow down as time progresses. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I could be wrong on that, or it's just overall the same. But I will put on square right now what the leader would have, should you actually face the leader of this facility in the Battle Frontier. Unlike the last one, where it was completely random, this one has specific Pokemon. So there you go, that's it on the screen right now. Luckily I remembered to put it on now instead of telling as much later on. But I figured since this is going to be a piece of cake, it didn't matter once again if we got poison or whatnot, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't mind this. Up to <laughs> hey, is your first name Kate? Because if your first name was Kate, um, you probably would not look good in a bikini. I'm just saying, you're, you're not the blondie I know. Okay, so now we move on to battle number two. So what are we getting this time? 
what what are the board things? Not too Chinchon stunky. Please it'll be more on my on their side if there's any hazards. Uh, what's this? This is our current events. What did I trigger? From the game on, the game's worth speed will be Yes! Okay, this makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm glad I accidentally hit that. So nothing happens. You don't get any items, you don't get anything, no status reflections. But the next turn, the speed board will be lowered, which is fantastic because I want to see what the possibilities are, and I want to screw over my my, uh, my opponent as much as possible. Because if I do this correctly, this will be the easiest one yet. No joke, the easiest one. Future side. Wait, you're faster. Wait, what? what? Since what was it not too faster than the Gyarados? I mean, granted, I think it might be like speed tied or something, but like. Man, um, that's really jacked up not to if you were able to outspeed a Gyarados of all things. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Gyarados is down. Next up is Chin Chow, which unfortunately I can't really do much of. Hmm, yeah, I definitely can't do anything. So we're definitely gonna have to switch into Sephiroth. Uh, if you'll be so kind as to Thunder Wave so that we, I can paralyze you as well, that'd be fantastic. Uh, perfect, thank you very much. So now you're getting paralyzed as well. Thank you. That's actually what I needed. Thank you very much. Enjoy your complimentary paralysis as well. Okay. And yes, okay. I was gonna say, hopefully I also get off a faint attack as well. So hopefully now this should Yeah, this is pretty close to knocking you out in shockwave. Not really worried. You can do that all you want, but I'm not really worried about that at the same time because special defense is my game. Look at that. And, oh, that's right! This isn't the generation where Future Sight would not hit Dark-type. It wouldn't be until, I think, the 6th generation or the 5th where it would implement that. That's weird. Or, no, yeah, I, I think it didn't hit Dark-type Pokémon in, uh, in later generations. At least that's what I'm assuming. Final Pokémon is Sunky. Okay, so I can't do anything, so I will have to switch again. But luckily enough, I can just get the Intimidate off, so in case you were to do something like... Let's say... Poison Jab? No, you don't... Uh, scratch or something, the only use our Slash. Wouldn't do as much as it normally would Smoke Screen. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good sign if you use Waterfall instead. This will be a little bit easier. Uh, with Waterfall and Ice Fang. So, Waterfall it up. Rise up the water. And... Hopefully this is enough to knock you on one hit. Yes, it is. Alright. <laughs> I'm feeling confident in this right now. Ooh, Aftermath, but that doesn't really matter all that much. It's an interesting ability. After it, after you do an attack, if the opponent has Aftermath, you will take a little bit of damage. I, I'm i assuming it's based on how much damage it had remaining uh, when it fainted. So that might be a factor in this. Game number three. So now that the board that the board speed's a little bit lower, that should mean that... Ooh, Omanite, Loudred, and Corsola. A little, bit, a little bit of a challenge, not bad. This one, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna lower it. I was going to po try to poison it, but probably would not have been worth it to do that, honestly. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't feel too bad about that. So it's gonna be a little bit lower now, which means I'm gonna have an easier time trying to figure out what I want to do. It's all, ab it's, no it's all about the speed. So if you can get lower, that's perfect. If you can get it faster, that's a problem because you don't know what you're gonna get afterwards. Again, there's some luck involved with this, but it's also based on how well you can get those speed lowers and how well you can efficiently click in the right timing to get what you want. Oh, wow, uh, I was really worried you were gonna go for like rock throw or something, but not water gun. Okay, maybe having practice was a pretty good idea because he seemed to be living a lot of things. I should have known from that last Gyarados he had in the Battle Factory, of course. Gyarados would be pretty good in the Battle Frontier. Ah, I thought you would flinch! You didn't flinch. Well, at least I got one. <laughs> that was a crit! Excuse me? That tickled. Oh, I miss when the crits tickle and it didn't, like, do too much damage. Ah, oh, I miss those days. All right, you're gonna send out Corsola as well, okay. Let that thing die. I don't mind that. I was only never seen a Corsola up until this point, so... Hooray! First time seeing a Pokemon in the Pokedex. Or at least, as far as I know, we haven't seen it yet. But does it... Oh! Oh! Oh, it lived! Okay. That's interesting. 
All right, get up the waterfall. There we go. I will say, this whole arcade thing is kind of interesting. Uh, without the items, it kind of feels like the Gen 1 days, where there were no hold items allowed and whatnot. And having that chance of, like, status inflictions on your side or the other side, and the chance to lower speed and uh, increase speed and whatnot, it's just... It, I think it's it's fun. Not as fun as, like, the Battle Factory, in my personal opinion. But I could definitely see me playing this a lot and just trying my best and trying my luck and having fun with this one at the same time. It, it, it is that thing, like, it's random, but if you can get past that, it's not so random, and it can actually really work in your favor. Like, right now, I have no troubles whatsoever. Game number four. Well, let's continue. Bring it on. What do you have? Not too Delibird and Chatot. All uh, week two ice minus Delibird. Oh, this. This is good. I'm gonna poison your Pokemon. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna poison your... I'm not gonna take any more chances. I'm just gonna poison your Pokemon because, yeah. You need it. You actually need it. Badly, because what I'm about to do is going to be insane. You're probably going to need as much damage before I do that as possible, so I'm glad that that worked in my favor. Alright, so Natu is out, Gyarados is out. I'm just going to Dragon Dance and then wreak havoc with Ice Fang and or Waterfall, depending on the Pokemon. I'm just not one of those Pokemon, or not one, yeah, I'm not one of those Pokemon that would take the risk and, and or person, you know, you know me. Critical hit. Mm. I, the, the delicious, nutritious, low damage critical hits. Although that one did a lot better damage in terms of critical hits than that water gun did. <laughs> that water gun felt like nothing. Okay, so now that we're in the clear, let's Ice Fang. This immediately is going to knock you out. And then for the Delbird, I think I'm going to Waterfall. I know I could have just easily Ice Fanged because of the, um, the poison, but I was not going to risk it living. I really was not going to risk it living. So let's Waterfall. And if it does live this turn around, at least the poison will knock it out. So, it's a, in a good way, this actually was very, very beneficial. Plus, they were special attackers, so I... Well, they were mostly special attackers. I guess Delta would be the only one that would have been really badly injured by the burn. The other two would have been mostly special, so... Oh, okay, unless that happens for some reason. Yep, of course we can't have an episode of the Battle Frontier without something freaking missing and it being like a freaking matter and whatnot. No, 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 we, we can't we can't live without that at all. How did you know, game? How, how did you know? You know me too dang well. Get out of here. <laughs> you and your Swift. You and your Swift. Remember, remember when Chatter was still active and... It, it didn't sound as good, and then they got rid of the option to remove things to stay in the microphone because people were cursing or making loud noises and whatnot, as far as I remember. Wow, we're at game number five, and we're only like 13 minutes in. All right, that, that's impressive. All right, he's got a right horn, Krogak, and Kabuto. Now, is the speed going to be the same, or is it going to go back to normal? No, speed is the same. We're going to burn. We're going to burn. <laughs> you know, just in case they live... I just don't want to deal with a whole bunch of damage. I doubt they'll live anything, but just in case they do, yeah, I just don't want that much damage, is all. And I'm actually glad I'm getting a lot of these that are really misbenefiting the opponent, because this is making this way too easy, to be honest, and compared to the other two, I'm really glad I'm having a way easier time, because struggling through the Battle Tower and then making a big mistake in the Battle Factory caused me to reset the whole thing, even though I was doing so well. It feels nice to actually have something where I know the benefits and I use it very well and I don't get 100% messed up or messed over with in the long run. And it's something I can easily pull off very well. In fact, I didn't even need to, Well, minus one battle where I had to switch Pokemon, like, I think only one or two times. This has been really easy. All right, a Kabuto. Kabuto. This, really? You can go with that? Have a waterfall. Have a nice complimentary waterfall. Just... Pour it all over you. Knockoff? Ooh, oh boy. I'm scared. I'm scared of this poorly damaged knockoff. <laughs> this poorly damaged knockoff. Whatever will I do? It did so much damage. I think I'm going to go insane. I'm out. It broke my leg. I found a Pokemon Skrogunk. Um, do you have dry skin? Yes, you do. Okay, I, I just want to make sure. Oh boy. I hope this is another one of those, I made a mistake. I'm going to suffer the consequences for doing said mistake. 
I mean, it's fine, because if anything, you're kind of helping me out here. Okay, good. You're really helping me out here. At least you were the last Pokemon, so if anything, that would, probably would not have been the worst thing, but really wish I would have known you had dry skin earlier, but I just had to check. Because sometimes they have anticipation. I shouldn't have known. But <laughs> I'm not used to com competitive battling. It's been, I don't know how long it's been, like a year since I last competitively played Pokemon, so... I kind of didn't understand the ability for being like, oh, wait a second, why, did, why didn't it work and whatnot? But I realized then, then it was like dry skin. All right. Game on. Ooh, we got a pop star. We got a Starly, Glimmy, and Happini. All right. Can I get another burn one? Uh, wow, uh, I can make this a lot slower. Uh, oh, I can go paralysis. Uh, I'd rather get the burn, because I'm not worried about speed. Boom. There we go. Burn! <laughs> Burn them all! Burn them all! Burn the bird! Burn the cat! Burn the egg thing! It's a full course meal! Except who eats cats? No one eats cats! If you eat cats, you're 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 a cause of world destruction. I guess. Alright, anyways, Starly. Now you don't have intimidate right off the bat, right? I don't think you do. So this is again a nice bet. Because even though it could have fake out or something, we'd still be fine. We'd still be fine. We're actually doing way better with this than I thought we were going to. I thought we would have had at least a couple bits of trouble. But then again, it's not like the Battle Tower where the Pokemon just progress in... Well, they would progress. They should, actually. I don't know why they don't. To be honest. That's, um... That's interesting that it doesn't if it didn't do that. Alright, fake out. That's fine. You're gonna do... What? Like what? Oh. Hmm. That was a little more than I thought. That was gonna be at least like six HP or something. No, no. Yeah, that was gonna be like six, but it's fifteen. I probably should have done paralysis then. But I was so worried about not dealing a lot of damage. This no. Well, okay. You know what? No, for Pokemon like you, you must be punished. Luckily, I have a female Pokemon, so I'm not worried. This is your punishment. Get wrecked. Furious Wives. One, Furious Wives, and hopefully two. Alright, three. Okay, three times the charm. Alright. And the good news is, you are about to get annihilated by a Thunderbolt. Man, I forgot how fast Glamiao is. I knew it would outspeed a Gyarados, but I didn't think it would also outspeed a Raichu. If anything, it probably. No, it would have outspeed a Yonmega, if anything. Actually, Yonmega probably would have been a good bet, too, considering the fact that Choice Specs wouldn't be on there. And Hapini. You have a lot of special defense. I need to be worried about that. Which is why I'm going to Volt Tackle! Finally, I get to use this move to bat this against the baby Pokemon that doesn't deserve all of this damage. It didn't need the damage. It didn't do anything wrong. It's just a, it's just a cute little Hapini. Just being a cute little... It didn't need the crit, either! <laughs> That's the most damage we've done in this. That uh, we done. That's the most damage any opponent has done in the Battle Arcade because we use Volt Tackle. Man, um, we definitely got the short end of the stick. Uh, no, the big, the long end of the short stick. And number seven already. Dang, this is really fast. Please give me some good Pokemon. There we go. Paragly, Magmar, and Relicamp. Um, that Paragly scares me. The Magmar not so much, and the Relicamp not so much. Oh, this is where nothing happens. Nope, I'm... <laughs> I've learned my lesson with the last one. We're going to paralyze. We are going to paralyze this Pokemon, this trainer's Pokemon. I don't want to risk that whatsoever. Not even in the slightest. Um, actually, now that they're paralyzed, I could set up a Dragon Dance if I wanted to and get that going right off the bat. That would not be a bad idea, actually. Alright, so let me do that, actually. The Intimidate is going to go off, so we're good on that terms. I'm just going to Dragon Dance. We're going to Dragon Dance. We're going to keep on Dragon Dancing. Maybe maybe just two Dragon Dances? I don't want to be, like, too over the top. Oh, you're going to Fan Attack. I, I thought you were just going to, like, Tract or something. Like, oh, look at me. I'm a cat. He was falling over the cat. But, uh, no, that's not the case at all. All right, so, yeah, I think we should be fine after this Dragon Dance. Please get paralyzed. Oh, okay, that's fine though. Well, this is not intimidate you, so I'm not worried at all. Yeah, that's doing absolutely nothing. All right, time to waterfall. Time to waterfall. Get this out of here. Watch us somehow lose 
after all of this and all the strategies, I would be so upset. But I don't think that's the case at all. I think we have this completely in the bag. Thank goodness. That, like after two attempts, no, not after two attempts. After two attempts in uh, two of the areas we remained in, the third one was like only once, and it was actually fantastic. All right, waterfall it up. Get you to go down in health. Oh, um, dang. I forgot how bulky you were, but even with two Dragon Dances, that's still gonna be enough. Um, you can lower the speed, that's totally fine. I'm still probably gonna be faster than that Magmar, which hopefully doesn't have anything like Thunderbolt. <laughs> it probably will, and I wouldn't mind losing a Pokemon, especially the fact that we didn't even lose a single Pokemon. Like, none of my Pokemon fainted. That should count towards something. <laughs> that really should count towards something, but... But even still... But even still, that, that that's fine by me. One more Waterfall. Man! We did not lose a single Pokemon. We did not lose a single match, nor did we lose a single Pokemon in this. I understand I needed an easy break, but come on! <laughs> come on! This, this is like way too easy! And now I get the burn. That doesn't matter. That didn't actually matter. <laughs> okay, well, I deserve a nice easy break after all the difficulties both of the, uh, the, the Battle Frontier facilities did, so I'm good with that. I'm good with that. No, I'm not gonna save it again. Although it would be cool, but like, hey, look at me, completely annihilating this. And we get two BP. This one gives you the least amount of battle points for completing all this. If you want more, there are panels that can give you more battle points, but those are the only ways you can get more battle points. Uh, right now we have 11 of these. So we're gonna go ahead and save. Don't turn off the power. Of course I will not. And that is, that was the battle arcade. Okay. That was a lot easier than I thought. Todd, um, what you want? Uh, yes. Your gold duck. I don't know why you... Do these trainers actually breed Pokemon? Because I have their phone numbers. <laughs> like, oh yeah, let me read the Psyduck so that way he doesn't know I actually have a gold duck. And then he bows me later. It's like, oh, surprise! Here's my actual Psyduck. It's evolved to a gold duck. <laughs> I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But what I do know is, is that we had the easiest time of our lives in the Battle Arcade. Man, I remember that being a lot more difficult in the Platinum one, but that one, that one was just a piece of cake, and thank goodness, I needed a break after all of that, so I'm, I'm content with that. Even though it might have been way too easy, to be completely honest. <laughs> but, next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we're gonna head into a very enchanted castle. That is not the Disneyland castle, but somewhere around there. So does any episodes you missed, whether from the past or from the future, Make sure you check them out on the playlist down in the description below, the eye on the top right corner, or the upcoming end slate. With all that being said though, my name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So until we meet again, do remember to take care. I wasn't sure if I had the 8-bit one or the, the DS ones, I had the, the DS one, luckily I checked.